Hello and welcome back to Seven Days to Die. My name is Sponge. And um, yeah, we're, we're sort of, we're picking up from the Horde Night, which actually went rather well, really, in the grand scheme of things. Uh, Day 21 Horde Night went pretty well. You guys seem to be reasonably impressed with, uh, with, with how it went. So that's good. I'm going to take that as a big win. <laughs> um, as per that episode as well, I am now building a motorcycle. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. There it is. Bingo. That was good timing. Um, we have a motorbike. Holy crap, look at this thing. It's got spikes on the front of it. Oh, my God, that's awesome. All right, we're going to have to spawn this thing in immediately. Immediately, I say. Hang on, Steve. I'll get to you in a second. All right. What are you doing around here? Huh? What is going on with you? Oh, uh, thank you so much for all the comments about the land claim bot, by the, by the, by the way. Because um, that's, yeah, I need to put the land claim block back in my base until I suppose we need to do some more stuff to the horde base over there. Like, I'm going to mess around with its um, electric fence to see if I can figure that out. Um, right, let me just sort the bikes out a second because I want the fuel out of that and then we're going to pick that up and then I'm going to refuel that. And then, oh, look at the inventory on this. Yes, that is nice. That is very nice, very tasty. I like, I like, I like. Um, wait, did I just put 6,000? No, 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 no. That's got a nice sound to it. It's like a proper little Harley kind of hog sound. Refuel, minus 500. Oh, there we go. It's 100% gas now. Whoa, that takes a lot more fuel. <laughs> that's a little... That's a hungry boy. It's a hungry boy. Okay, I am also now thinking that I don't want to leave this thing out on the street like uh, like a throwaway bicycle. Like I, like I do with all my other bicycles. I just sort of leave them out here and let them fend for themselves. My garden is growing as well, guys. I did a little bit um, between the last and this episode. I've got some coffee seeds now. Um, I'll grant uh, expanding this. I also demolished one of the crypts. Thanks again to all your advice about digging under it and letting it collapse. Oh my god, that saved me so much time. You would not believe. Right, I need to get rid of that, but I need um, I need some blocks to nerd pole my way up there, so we can chop it out. Inactive, and then we gotta build another one. Land claim. Crafty poos. Oh, that takes 30 seconds. Um, and then, yeah, I'll just pop another one around here somewhere. Oh, look at my little... My mushrooms. Look at my little indoor mushrooms. It's madness. And there are mushrooms on the walls. It's brilliant. I should add more mushrooms to this, but actually, it's fine. Mushrooms are not the shortest thing. It's potatoes. It's bloody potatoes. And everything else. That's my ingredients box. It's looking pretty sad. Apart from on the meat front, the meat front, it looks great. Uh, but my ready to eat is looking great. I've got meat stew, veg stew. Over here, I've still got some steak and potatoes. I've got some chili dogs, grilled steak, plus all the tins of stuff. Um, I'm keeping all my sham until I can make sham chowder. Um, and as I get more um, of the, the ch cans of chili, I can call, turn the cornbread and, and the chili into more chili dogs. So food-wise... I'm doing pretty good. I'm doing pretty good. Pretty good. Um, let me just check something. One second. This gives me 24 water. Normal water only gives me 20 water. Plus this helps with digestion. So I'm just going to take red tea and coffee with me uh, from now on. I think that's that would be glorious. Yeah. Anyway. Um, this week, I am hoping to acquire more stuff, obviously. And... Um, where am I going to put this? Where are going to put this? Where are going to put this? Where are going to put this? Oh, wow. That just... Why not? There it goes. Okay. We'll... Dun, 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 dun. Um, yeah, we want to acquire more stuff. I really want to get a higher level marksman rifle so I can mod the living bejesus out of it. Mods are going to be a big, big thing, I think, going forward. Uh, because I haven't really got that many, I suppose, for guns. I've obviously got the trigger group and stuff like that, but um, yeah, it's, it's not great. Military leg armor. I've got a level two military leg armor. I didn't realize I had leather chest armor as well. It's level two. See, I really need like level four 
or above now. <laughs> it's kind of becoming sort of a thing where I just I need I need the higher level stuff because uh, otherwise, it, you know, with the mods and stuff that I've got, I can't I can't really put a level two leather chest armor in there with all the mod stuff that I can get on a level six padded. Anyway, enough of that nonsense. I will deal with that sort of stuff figuring out armor and whatnot off camera you know we're not going to bore you with that um what i'm thinking for this base here i'm thinking of doing a, a fair old amount of work on this base uh through the nights of this week because i'm pretty happy with the horde base i don't think i need to necessarily grind out um maybe other than than making the sort of the path concrete reinforced concrete as you guys suggest and upgrading some of the more sort of heavy traffic areas and more concrete. I also had the idea of digging out the pit where the, where uh, Punchy knocks them down into. Is just digging it out into a massive pit that they fall down into. And they can obviously get out of, but yeah, they take more damage on, on the fall. I don't know. Um, yeah, I want to dig the rest of these crypts out. That shouldn't take too long now. I just need to get the shovel. And then what I'm thinking is building like a vehicle garage. I don't know, here-ish. Because I've got that uh drawbridge thing is it called a drawbridge thing yeah look at this powered reinforced drawbridge uh i'd need another generator i'd also need a motion sensor of some sort and that's locked under advanced engineering um which i'm thinking i need to get anyway i've got two points available right now uh so i might even put one in the electrician and that may allow me Let's put another one back in strength. Six. Ah, oh, we need to do the main one. Fine. There we go. Um, hungry. So now I can make a motion sensor. Tie that up to a generator. Can I make a generator? Yes. Uh, and then we're going to get some proper like electricity going on um, on up in here. And so what I'm hoping to do is build a little ramp this side of the wall, so that I can have a drawbridge up here and a, a raised garage thing. And then as I drive up the ramp the drawbridge lowers i can cross the wall and park in a garage how cool would that be anyway that's i gotta i need to think about that a bit longer but anyway let's um i gotta stop yammering on we actually need to do something so let me drink some red tea here because this is another helpful tip that you guys suggested is drink the red tea and then eat my food and apparently that gives me more food more bang for my buck inventory wise um oh i've got some parts can i make a marks and rifle Rafael. marks and rifle is locked and i can only make level ones okay i think i need to invest in dead eye or something like that you guys are saying but i got rifle parts uh, i've got some wood frames food some of the candies uh, basic stuff my loot goggles ammunition and dukes i don't think i have anything i want to sell at this time let's go out because up north, I don't know if you remember or not, but we found the. I'm gonna take the old bike out. Look at this thing! Ah, madness! It looks so cool. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's actually so much quicker than the little mini bike as well. And this isn't even boosting. I can boost even quicker than this. Oh my god, this is gonna be amazing. Yeah, up north. Um, Oh, it was above the trader. There, this thing right here uh, is a military base. I want to go and have a look at that. I want to go have a little look. Um, so maybe what we need to do is actually hang, hang a left here. Let's go left. Let's hit the roads. Let's hit the road. Because actually there's another little base over here that I want to check out as well. On the way. We'll do that on the way. Where are all the zombies? I'm not seeing any around. They're usually sort of squirreling around these, these fields and whatnot. Here we go. Here is um, another of those mines. If you remember, we come across one of these mines before. Whoop! And there's this little camp here. Right, let's have a little look. Have a little look around here. There's lots of like cement bags and corn and stuff here, isn't there? And a vulture. Nasty bird. Get down. Oh yeah, we've got like chemical stations and stuff. Here. Cheeky bugger. Was he just sat on that the whole time? He's just sat on... <laughs> Zombie sat on a chair. Nice. Um... Hello, mate. 
Oh, hang on. Oh, hello. Where did you lot come from? Oh. Oh, it's like that, is it? Oh, there's there's a few of them. There's a Grumpy. There's um, a, a Brittany. There's a Karen. There's another Grumpy. Grumpy 2. All right. All right. All right. This is this is a good timing, isn't it? I'm like, where are all the zombies? And then in a freaking wandering horde turn up. Good timing, folks. Good timing. Karen, Karen. Damn it, Karen. Two Karens. All right, you. Finishing off with a Steve. Oh! Steve dodging the bolt there. Wait, what are you doing? What are you doing? Stop dodging, eh? Dodging like a crazy fool. I can't hit you if you keep dodging around. It's almost like they know. They know. It's that whole Northwest thing, isn't it? That whole Northwest thing. So, zombies move on a grid, I think you guys said. So, if I'm northwest or something, they might zigzag a bit or appear to zigzag a bit, where they're just trying to sort of path their way to me and whatnot. But look at this, this is crazy. Hang on. Boom. <laughs> 3.5 damage. Sniping with a crossbow is interesting. Oh, I want to get a scope for this thing. I mean, it's only a level one, so, you know, at the moment it's got the kind of polymer string mod on it, so it does a little bit more damage. There we go. Um, any honey? Honey? Please? No honey for today. No honey today. Alright, well, fine. Whatever. Um, I'll take the cash. Yeah, so little camp. That's, that's what we were talking about before we were so rudely interrupted. <laughs> um, got a couple of little wood thingies here. There's this fire pit. Does this give me coal? Yeah! Another bit of coal. Barracks chairs. Scrap them. All right, there's another. Sit down. Duffel bag. Oh, lovely. Cowboy boots. Wow. <laughs> uh, do they sell? They do, 57, actually, not bad. I should probably uh, put on my, um, my loot goggles. Yeah, that was weird. Big giant wandering horde. <laughs> <laughs> right as I start looting this place. Fair enough. Can't really argue, I guess. Oh, that's nice. Uh, I can sell, though. I can sell, and we can wrench this down. Um, which I suppose I should have my nerdy glasses on. I can, I can just swap him backwards and forwards between bloody glasses all the time. I can't be dealing with this. Well, I'm so glad you announced yourself. I really do. Hello, big fella. Where the hell did that go? Damn it. There you go. There we go. We're going to land it eventually. Good thing about it being daylight is they don't run, except this guy's running at me. Oh, lovely. Thanks for playing. Can't really get much done at the moment because <laughs> all the zombies keep turning up. Like, this is just a little tent village camp. <laughs> what is going on? Fortnite all over again. Anyway, got wood. <laughs> and then obviously there's blue bags of, of stuff around, but we've got some food. I'll take. Weapons bag. I'll take. Yeah, I'm encumbered already. And, ooh! Well, hello there! <laughs> A steel battle axe. Well, that is interesting, isn't it? Melee attack, 34. Stamina cost, 29. How does this compare? Oh. Yeah. I mean, that does a lot more damage. Um, well, obviously, my baseball bat is a little bit quicker. So, yeah. Interesting. Interesting. I like it. 
We're going to have to give the old steel battle axe a go. Let me know in the comments. Is that a good find? It's level 2, so I can at least put a flaming uh, mod on it, maybe. Or um, or maybe the, the handling. I don't know. We've got a few mods we can apply to that now. Steel battle axe. Man, imagine getting a level 6 one of those and just modding the crap out of it. It would look insanely badass, uh, wouldn't it? Okay. Uh, let me just dig this stuff up. A few bags of whatnot. And then we're going to go into that mine just over there. Once we've done that mine, we're going to go up and check it out military camp. Okay. Why does it sound like there's a lot of zombies down here? Dave! What are you doing, Dave? Honestly. You're just making a fool of yourself. That's what you're doing. You idiot. Idiot Dave. Whatever. Anyway. Right. This mine looks like it may be slightly uh, reinforced. Slightly. Uh, let's get rid of one of these spikes. I'm going to so just like. Kill myself in one of those. <laughs> okay. We need, uh, we need our sledge. There are definitely some zombies behind the door. Looks like another Dave. All right, Dave. We'll get through this in no time. You and me. All right, last hit on you then. Go on. What is this? What, what, what are you doing? I thought you were good at this. Thank you. He took a few hits, actually. <laughs> Bless him. Ah, I see you. I see you, Mr. Sleepy Zombie. There's a few of them. There's a sleepy grumpy there. And there's a sleepy grumpy there. And there's a sleepy squirrely there. Oh, there's a few. Oh, no. What is that? That's not a squirrely. Is that a hazmat zombie? It's a hazmat. There's a bloody hazmat as well. Kind of useless fool wears a hazmat and still gets infected. Honestly. What a Gerald thing to do. Yeah. <laughs> is this it? This is tiny. This is a tiny little cave. Alright. We've got a shipping crate of some description here. Oh no. Rusty barrel. Empty. Rusty barrel. Mushrooms everywhere though. This is great. Look at all these mushrooms. Yas. Actual working campfire. Rubbish. Let's maybe use a fire axe for that, shall we? Ho! Oh, bow parts! Yay! Shotgun tube extender mod. Like it. What is that a mod or is that parts? This is a mod. Shotgun tube extender mod. Increased magazine capacity for pump shotgun shotguns by three. Very nice. I like. I don't have a pump shotgun. But when I do, they inevitably get one. And that's going to be a nice mod to have. Okay. Shotgun Messiah box. Uh, more gun parts. Machine gun parts, shotgun parts, and machete parts. Lovely. And got some logs. Oh! Hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh! Wait, what's the bearing? Where is it? Where is it? Uh, south... Southeast. Sort of between one notch and... Direct. Let's do it. Let's go, bike. Let's go. So close to home. Yay! Supplies! These guys must know where I am, because they drop supplies right on top of me. Hello. Rocket launcher schematic! <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, come on. This is good. This is good news. Uh, I will learn to make the four times scope schematic. And I will learn how to make a bloody rocket launcher. 
Quality of crafted items determined by the governing perks such as shotgun and sire for all shotguns, sometimes crafted with parts of scrap. Blah 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 blah. Very nice. I can make a bloody rocket launcher. It'll be a level one. Wow. Yep. Steel, duct tape, electrical parts, springs, and rocket launcher parts. Uh, <laughs> high explosive ammo, frag ammo. Oh my god. Well, this is interesting, isn't it? Rocket casing, iron and clay. Oh, there's a lot of um, there's a lot of parts. Well, rocket tip. What's that used for? Oh, rocket tips. Of course, yeah. For the HE rocket ammo. There's a lot of parts to rocket ammo <laughs> and rockets in general. I I, I can't imagine that they're all wholly that useful other than just a big fuck you cannon, <laughs> which, it, when I think about it, is actually brilliant. All right. Uh, <laughs> that's cool. I gotta head over to the the military camp now, and see what we can find up there. But good times, rocket launcher. Oh yeah. Well, he's been training for he's been training for days now to settle the score between manager and Karen. This is it, the fight that everybody's been waiting for. Who's gonna win, Karen or manager? Oh, and it's manager. Oh, it's manager. Oh yeah, it's no surprise really. The manager has been training for this for so long. It absolutely decimated Karen. She had no chance. Oh, what a finish. What a finish. The crowd absolutely loved that result as well. Karen, Karen 2, manager 3. What a result. All right, military base. Here we are. Now, I'm slightly worried about this because I seem to remember somebody saying military bases are usually surrounded in, uh, in mines. Mines! They're actually struggling to see any right now, but uh, that's the thing about landmines. <laughs> They're not always, uh, not always easy, to, easy to spot, are they? Right, uh, let me offload a bunch of stuff. Uh, one secondo. Uh, mushrooms and feathers and whatnot. I'll keep some nerd pole stuff on me. Um, cool, all right. Let's have a little look-see, shall we? Um, I assume that the front entrance here, which is kind of weirdly sore... <laughs> <laughs> Weirdly placed. The terrain has done well with this one, hasn't it? Right. US Fire Post 69. The best number. Alright. It's like he's concerned. I don't know. General feeling of uneasy right now. Hi! There's a grand total of nothing in here. Not even a button or something that can open the gate. Ow. I take it this is locked. It's not even a thick it's not even a door, it's just solid steel. Um okay. How the hell do we get in here then? Best way in. I'm looking at that little thing there and that's damaged, but that's only one block and then there's barbed wire. Not good. Oh hang on. Can we get on here? You always check your dumpsters. Feathers, lovely. Uh, we can get on here, but then I'm kind of like... Oh, this doesn't have a huge amount of hit points anyway, does it? There is actually probably an official way in. Ow! To this, uh, to this base. But I'm in. One way or another, I'm in. Oh, hello, doggos. Did you see that? They just spawned. <laughs> can I shoot them in the butt? And then will that give me three times damage? It does. It, 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 it killed it as well. Hang on, I've got to get rid of this. Gnarly stuff. Um, what about the one behind it? Two dogs dead. Uh, it's a bit unfortunate, really, that they spawn with their butt hanging out. <laughs> it's not the best. Um, lovely. There's some really grotesque stuff around here, isn't there? No, no, no. The, the, the gooey blobby bit. Yeah, you got it. Yeah. Yeah, all this rotten flesh. It's useful. Make farm plots with it. It's all good. I love that I just chop their heads off. It's, that's not grotesque at all. Alright. Now that we've gathered all the body parts, <laughs> maybe we can get some, like, guns and stuff? I don't know. 
Stuff that you'd expect to find in a military base. Unlocked. Okay, good start. Uh, light off. Headshot. Ah! Lab coat zombie. Hate those. They're the worst. Okay. I can sneak over those little sound traps now. It's all good. Search the iron desk. Turn the light back on now. Zombie outside the walls. I have annoyed. Hey, Steve. Oh, I don't know where that went. It went somewhere. Let's just go with that. Oh, it's a Gerald. <laughs> Got infected while wearing a hazmat. <laughs> Such a Gerald thing to do. All right, cool. Washing machine. Oh, that goes off that direction. Oh, showers. Sneaky. Toilet pistol? No. No toilet pistol today, ladies and gents. Bad times. Right, I can come back and wrench these beds down. Because these old beds, I assume, are the same old beds that I can make. I can't really wrench them, but yeah, you get springs and pipes and stuff. So you can wrench them down. Uh, it's just the cotton then. Like I said, the old beds actually sell reasonably well at traders, weirdly. <laughs> so you can wrench them down and get some useful, useful stuff there. Still trying to come through from the outside, morons. I don't know why I'm sneaking around. They clearly know I'm here. Um, right, what we got in here? That is definitely suspicious. And there is a purse. With some dollars. Nice. Oh, that sounds like they might have made some... some. No, he's still chipping away at it. Right. Oh, I see some more zombies that have not woken up. There's a Dave. There's a nurse. Oh, the nurse did not die. And he's now running at me. It's because the nurse is feral. Feral nurse. Scary. Another Dave. Alright, now we go up into the roof, I guess. I know, it's difficult to tell sometimes where you're supposed to go in these places. Um, but that is clearly locked. Um, and this is clearly not. So, yeah. You're just an embarrassment, you know? Just embarrassing yourself and your fellow zombies. That's what you're doing. <laughs> oh, I sort of didn't really make it there, did I? <laughs> I was like, yeah, I'm going to do like action hero jump. Action hero jump. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, no, she just got behind the fence. Damn it, I would have got her. Oh, well. Next building. Karen. I'll have a good stealth kill. Wrong weapon. I'm glad that knocked her back because I was in trouble there. Feral nurse again. Feral nurse. Feral nurse. Really hoping for like a nice big gun cache in here somewhere, you know? So we get a backpack with some electrical parts in it. <laughs> awesome. Got another route up into the roof though. Don't think there's anything up here though. We'll take this satellite dish and another backpack. Yeah. Well, there's a couple of buildings left here, but otherwise this has been kind of disappointing so far. I'm really hoping that there is some kind of like little underground bunkery bit that I've missed. Can I go down the ladder, please? 
Now, where does this go? 2,500, but it's locked. Right, does that actually just go out? Oh, it just goes out onto that. Yeah, okay. Whatever. It's also locked. I don't like it being locked. Okay. Right, this goes down underground. Oh. It's just a garage. Some medical supplies. And now I'm out of space. The glass can go. Where the hell did you come from? Just came from the sky. Alright. Cool. Hey, nurse. You've got something in your eye. Never mind. You got it. Okay, um, I'll come back for this truck in a second. Let me just offload all this stuff into the bike. There's ample storage capacity now, which is glorious. And, uh, and then we'll check out the rest of this place. There's got to be something here. Army truck. Guns. Uh, well, honey's good. I'll take the honey. That's fine. I'm hungry. Um, nails, electrical parts. All right, we're going to take this down, I think. Uh, yep. We've got space for it. Let's do it. Wait, is there, like, boxes in the back here that I'm missing? No. Destroyed workbench. Oh, man. This place is like a complete bust, really. Okay, final building, then. This one right here. There's a Gerald trying to break out. You stupid Gerald. I mean, what are you doing? You're in a hazmat suit and you still got infected. I mean, uh, it never never ceases to amaze me the ineptitude of that person. Right. Last bit of medical supplies then. This is actually quite good. Getting some decent supplies here. Paper. Uh, I spoke too soon, clearly. <laughs> oh, what have we got? Uh, Fireman's Almanac. Volume 1. Uh... All the conditioning, extreme temperatures, giving you 10% greater hyperthermal resistance. Oh, I like that. Hyperthermal resistance. Um, that's good. Right. Okay, other than wrenching down all those parts, which I'll do in a second. Uh, that's that's it? Wait. Did we go up this tower here? We didn't, did we? Hold the phone. One second. I have missed probably the most vital... and the most important part of this base because we had to go up here up 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 in order to get access to this ah which we never did well now then this is this is different this is important this is this is it okay we got some we got some jump puzzles oh made it absolutely mailed it May, like bossed it you know proper bossed it hello zombies Probably vultures. Zombie vultures. All the way around. Sneak. Sneak. How did you hit me while you were falling? Cheeky bastards. That's a that's a feral. There's a few ferals there. Oh Christ, they've broken through already. Come at me, bros. What are you gonna do? Huh? What are you gonna do? This guy is mad. Are you mad? They're all mad. You made me get my AK out. Assholes. <laughs> that was cool. You should have tried to power down and be like, ah! <laughs> Ammo. Uh, we got a shamway's box and a reinforced crate. Another box uh, with some medical supplies over there. This is going to be good. What we got? A sham sandwich. Okay, I'm going to leave that. Um, staff. Ooh, SWAT helmet. Ooh. <laughs> is that heavy armor? It is heavy armor. Uh, level one military helmet, though, and some gold nuggets and stuff. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, we need to get rid of some nonsense. Um, 
Okay, nonsense to be gotten rid of. First of all, the overalls can be scrapped into cloth. I will scrap my um, thingies there. Polymers can go. Animal fat, leather can go. I got a lot of that. Brass can go. I know, I know, I know. Brass, don't do it, Spanish. Don't do the brass. Painkillers as well. Um, three iron, really? Okay, ammo, bolts, military armor parts, SWAT helmet. I am tempted. I gotta say that's that looks a badass. And B is probably quite useful. Right, uh, there you go. I've got I've got the brass back now. Uh, but we we probably have to ditch that again because we've got another box over here. Some splints and uh oh another tactical assault rifle but it's only a level one just as before so i'll probably scrap that for the rifle parts the gun parts maybe um let's see if we can make one well that was quite good that was suddenly quite exciting uh there we go there we go that is the military base now done now completely done um excellent Excellent. Right, can we stack? I don't want to stack because then it messes up my order of things. That can go scrappy scraps because it's not worth anything. Uh, yeah. Iron boots and SWAT helmet. Hmm. Very nice. Very, very nice. Right. What do you give me? Do you give me anything useful? Iron. Is that it? Nope. Oh. Electrical parts. Electrical parts. Ah! Water can go. Water can go. I'll have the electrical parts. Much more important. Okay. Done. Right. Um, let's head over to the trader. Just over here. And see if we can sell some of the stuff. Um, and then I think maybe before we call it an episode. I might go up and see if we can unlock that gun case at the top of the church. Which we've been promptly ignoring for a while. 18 lockpicks on me. I think we could do it. And if we can't. I have got um, the jailbreakers. So... We, we're going to get it. And that's one of the gun cases that I've been meaning to go back to for a while. So let's let's do this. Back to the trader then. Nerdy, no, nerdy goggles on. Let's go and talk to this guy. I think day 22 was actually restock day. So we should have an entirely new stock now. For sore eyes. Oh, well, thanks, darling. Uh, right. Hello, sir. Now, before we have a look into there, let's have a look, see what you've got. Um, well, actually, should we see if he's got any sugar butts? Sugar butts? No. No. Okay. Oh, thanks as well for the, uh, yeah, minus 100%. Wow. The O'Shiz drops. <laughs> Should have some of those for when I'm at the top of the bloody Shamway Tower or something I want to get down. <laughs> it would be useful. All right, cool. Um, sell. Sell, 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 sell. The iron boots I'm not going to use. A SWAT helmet I am tempted by, but it is heavy armor. I'm never going to use it, so I'm going to sell it. Cowboy boots, the armor neck. Um, the grain alcohol. Go, go, the shades as well, go. Um, and everything else I think is fine. I'm going to keep hold of for now, although I think I might do, eventually I'll another, do a, another run on the traders at some point and just sell a bunch of stuff that I'm not using. Um, okay, needle and thread, volume two, shotgun turret, a 4x4 truck. We can just buy a truck. <laughs> 51,000 dukes, mine, but we could just buy a truck. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome impact driver level three that's tempting but again eight grand over my over my price range i've got 6500 dukes here um crossbow schematic i've already got hunting rifle level two meh Oof. player vending machines he doesn't seem to have a lot of good stuff today in the old i mean he has good stuff but it's way out of my price range uh at the moment okay that's a shame. Hobo stew recipe. I can wait. I don't need more recipes. I'm good. Okay. That's it. Seems to be all he's got right now. Okay. It's 7.24. We'll quickly run up to that church and see what we got in that gun case at the top of the church. Now, will the church have respawned, actually? Do we think? Uh, it's been a while now. The church may have respawned. I don't know what the respawn rate is. I can't remember what I set it to or even if you can set it. Let's go and have a look. Doesn't look like it. I mean, the door's open. Although a lot of the dead bodies are back again. Oh, and so are the zombies. Okay. Okay, so it has sort of respawned. No, there's always one in there, Steve. Always bloody one. 
I only want the gun case at the top here. That's all I'm interested in. I don't want to be, you know, tangling with you lot again. I don't even know if, how, um, everything, like, loot wires would have respawned as well. I assume their vultures are back. Yes, they are. Darn vultures. Oh, I think that one just over the top of that one. Try again. There we go. Oh yeah, this this is this was fun, wasn't it? <laughs> I made it. It's all fine. I made it. Oh, oh, I forgot about the big bloody hole in the. Uh... <laughs> there we go. We're parkouring like an absolute boss today. Okay, here we go. Locked. Let's unlock, please. Pretty please. Oh, ah, ah, no. Escape. Whoa. Almost. <laughs> we, we, want our, we want our lucky looters on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we don't want to be looting that with the nerdy glasses on. Okay, two lockpicks down. Come on, you can do this. Yeah. Oh, no, come on, don't make me, don't make me uh, eat the jailbreakers. You're going to make me eat the jailbreakers, aren't you? Okay, fine. Use the jailbreakers then. Ten minutes. Pick the lock. Let's go. Thank you very much. Okay. Um, for grip mod. Very nice. Ergonomic mic grip. Uh, it's tempered blade mod. Tempered blade. Um, damage degradation by 15% lower. Oh, that's very nice. There we go. Um dynamite <laughs> another burning shaft mod very good um we might be able to put that on punchy set zombies on fire that would be amazing uh a hunting knife and some other bits and bobs not bad at all actually pretty good i like i like i like let's get the hell out of here then uh it's eight o'clock so we've got a little bit of time for night time and then i'm going to be heading back to base and working on destroying more of those crypts i think um and perhaps have I got space? I do. I'm perhaps starting work on my little kind of raised garage idea that I had at the beginning of the episode. Um, but yeah, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Bit of general, bit of general looting of the local area and our new motorbike. And that's it. I think. Um, next episode perhaps next or maybe the one after i'm not sure i think i want to follow this road out and see where that goes um i also want to explore this town down here but i just haven't found a really good way to get to it yet this road may link up now that i've got the motorbike and i'm a little bit quicker i think explore exploring the sort of area and and stuff is going to be a lot easier now uh so i want to do a bit of that in the next episode but for now uh, that concludes our first day after day 21 horde. A little bit of looting, more stuff. We're getting some mods as I'd hoped we would get. Um, and a bit sort of kind of more of the same really. Just loot, sell, level up, gear up. I'm loving this motorbike though. <laughs> it's good. Uh, it's very good and very cool. Uh, thank you as always for watching. I hope you enjoyed and hopefully I will see you next time. Until then take care. Bye bye.